Pretty this one has a fiberglass hood, no hinges, they have four hoods. 1969 Chevrolet Camaro Super Sport 396 L78. And as already mentioned, the L78 was a 396 cubic inch V8 that featured a solid lifter cam, an aluminum intake manifold, four bolt mains, forged internals, rectangular port heads, a Holly 780 with a compression ratio of 11 to 1. And it was rated 375 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. But for those of you in the know, you're probably saying, well, that doesn't make much sense. The exact same engine just a few years previous in the Corvette was rated 425 horsepower. A little sus, Chevrolet. <laughs> Not to mention all Camaro Super Sports came with a spring package specific to the Super Sport, power brakes with 11 inch front discs, and a 12 bolt rear with multi-leaf spring packs that just love to wheel hop. Of course, you could get a four speed manual, but this one features the tried and true three speed automatic and oh yeah, it's a turbo 400, so it can handle all that power. 355 gears would have been standard, but this one has a tasty little factory option for 10 gears. Even with that big block, the weight of this Camaro is quite impressive. With driver, it's only 3,526 pounds. The L78 Camaro was an okay deal back in 1969. The Camaro V8 started out at $2,727. Super Sport package was another 295 bucks. That L78 engine was $316, automatic transmission was $195, and that G80 Positrack in the back was $41. That gives you a grand total of $3,574, and adjusting for inflation, that's around $28,154 today. The Camaro sold incredibly well in 1969 with over 243,000 total produced. But those that came with the L78 engine, well that was only 4,889. Popular Hot Rodding tested an L78 Camaro with 373 rear gears and an automatic transmission, and it ran the quarter mile in 14.48 seconds at 100.55 miles per hour. Let's check out that opponent. Actually, before we do that, let's check out a Camaro commercial from 1969 because it's interesting. Top race drivers tell why Camaro is pace car again. Actually, old boys, because of the way the Camaro lays into a curve, humps the road, it's a it's magnificent wide stance, don't you know? No, it's because of the power, the strength, the discipline of his engine. Tell Camaro what to do, and it obeys order. Well, that just seems to be really poor acting of stereotypes. I'm sure it can't get any worse. Let's continue on. No, 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 it's because the Camaro is bella, bellissima, so... So elegant, so Camaro. <laughs> Good grief, what are we gonna see next? A loud American choking down a hot dog or something? In my opinion, it's because Camaro is a driver's idea of a professional car. Ugh. 1969 Dodge Super B A12. And good gravy, I hope the Mopar fans are wearing loose-fitting pants today. The A12 was an absolute monster. It featured three Holly two-barrel carbs, and when they all opened up, you're talking 1,350 CFM. Not to mention they were sitting on top of an Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold. The car also featured a heavy-duty radiator, those absolutely awesome 15x6 black steel wheels, an S15 police handling package, and of course, the fiberglass liftoff hood. And when you did remove that hood, you'd get to stare at that 440 cubic inch V8 with a compression ratio 10.5 to 1, which was higher than the Hemi that year. And horsepower was rated 390, and torque was 490. Just like the Camaro, you could get a four-speed manual or an automatic transmission, and this one features the Torque Flight three-speed automatic. And also just like the Camaro, this one features a set of 410 rear gears, and from the factory, these things had a Dana 60 back there. And where this car is at a disadvantage in this race is the weight. This one with driver is 3,812 pounds, which is almost 300 pounds more than the Camaro. The A12 was similarly priced to the Camaro L78. The Super B started out at $3,150. The A12 package was only $462. And then that Torque Flight automatic transmission was $39. It gives you a grand total of $3,651, only slightly more than the Camaro, and adjusting for inflation, that's $28,761 today. 
Even though the A12 was a fairly good deal, Dodge really didn't sell that many. If you break that down into hardtop cars with an automatic transmission, there were only 661 total. Hot Rod Magazine tested a Super B A12 in August of 1969. It featured an automatic transmission with 410 gears, and it ran the quarter mile in 13.56 seconds at 105 miles per hour. Let's see what these cars will do today. Camaro was able to take off with an early lead thanks to a .03 reaction time and they crossed the finish line first, taking home the win with a blistering 12.38 seconds at 112.17 miles per hour. In the other lane, the A12 looked good, but not quite good enough for the win, running 12.63 seconds at 109.26 miles per hour. Let's see if that Super B can even the score in round two. So where's cold water? In the second round, it's the Super B that takes home the win. Even though they had a slightly worse ET, it was their turn for a .03 reaction time, and they crossed the finish line first in a very impressive 12.40 seconds at 109.51 miles per hour. This time, the Camaro ran a very consistent 12.37 seconds at 112.19 miles per hour. And with this best of three tied one all, let's check out that final round. Uh, so we have at least two A12 cars. There's at least one Super B and one Roadrunner. Uh, I don't know if there's another one of those. It's hard to tell, but they're both red or orange. But um, very cool cars. And again, you know, no wheel covers in this one. It's a fiberglass hood, no hinges. They have. Final round, the Camaro ran a slightly worse ET than usual, but was still able to take home the win in the best of three title, running 12.48 seconds at 111.31 miles per hour. Meanwhile, in the other lane, the A12 looked great, but not quite good enough for this matchup, running 12.58 seconds at 108.95 miles per hour. A huge thanks to both of the owners for bringing out these cars. It was absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. I'll catch you guys at the next one.